hello everyone you are welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking in and for watching please if you are joining us for the first time and you're yet to subscribe kindly click on the subscribe button and also on the bell icon to enable you get notified whenever new tutorials are uploaded and if you have done so thank you so much in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this gather the pleated to band cap which has multi bow and the net based design attached to it for this tutorial the materials used include scuba fabric satin fabric lace fabric hat wire crinoline the small size which is the about three inches wide your scissors your measuring tape your added hairband which is optional as well as your matching color of thread and needle and flower accessories for embellishment now coming over to this design which we are working on it has the tuban cap which is a tuban base and i'm going to be making use of the gathered or pleated tuban cap of which you can make use of any other tuban cap in place then we are going to be having the multi board design which is going to be attached to it and we're going to be making use of our satin fabric and our crinoline for that. In addition to that, we're also going to be making having we're also going to be having the net design. And the net design is going to be making use of our lace fabric and our hat wire as well as our ribbon. Then we also have the embellishment aspect, which could be with any fabric flower of your choice or any other applique or accessory of your choice. Now for the tuban cap, I have my pleated or that tuban cap here. So this is it. It's it has already been sewn down. Now the tutorial to this particular tuban cap has already been illustrated in one of our previous videos on my YouTube channel. So what you do is that you go through a, a YouTube channel Jenny Concepts and check the video gathered or pleated tuban cap and you see it there. Or better still, I'll be leaving the link to this video in the description box. So just check the description box below for the link to the video on how to achieve this particular to ban cap. Now, having done that, we're going to be moving straight into the design. I have all my fabrics cut out, and then I'll get each fabric, and then I'll be stating the measurements required. Now, for my net design, I have the lace fabric cut out already, and this is it. The measurement for this is 14 inches by 14 inches so both the length and the breadth is 14 inches now in addition to this we also be needing a hat wire and for my hat wire i have it cut out already and the measurement for my hat wire is 40 inches so i'm going to be cutting out 40 inches and that is that then we also be needing a ribbon to make it of your ribbon your trimming your bias tape this peter charms ribbon whatever you have available then coming over to the multiple design i have four pieces of fabric cut out the measurement for each piece of fabric is six inches for the length by by 24 inches for the sorry six inches for the width by 24 inches for the length so six by 24 inches cut out four different places you can go ahead to cut this as many as you want depending on how full you want your design to be now that is it for my bow design six by 24 and then i also have my crinoline crinoline comes in two types there's the soft and the hard type the hard type of crinoline is preferable so that it can help make your design stand and come out um, firmly. So this is it. And the measurement for this crinoline is 3 inches. It is 3 inches wide. Because crinoline comes in different sizes. For this particular one is 3 inches and it's the hard one. And this is it. So we are going to be needing 24 inches in 4 places. The same thing with our fabric. And then that is that. Then you could make use of any applique or fabric flyer of your choice and this will be used for embellishment so coming over to the tutorial i'm going to get my satin fabric 
I'll get one piece of fabric and I'll be illustrating with this. And whatever I do for this piece of fabric should be done for all other pieces of fabric. This is the first piece of fabric. I'm going to be folding this down into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. So this is it. I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch this down from one end to the other. And I'll do this for the other piece of fabric as well. At this point, I'm done stitching down my fabric and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead to turn my fabric inside out and as soon as I'm done, I will get back. Please also remember that you also have to repeat the same the same procedure for the other three pieces of fabric that are left. Okay, and before me, I have all four pieces sewn and the fabric has been turned inside out and as you can see, I also have the sewn part of the fabric at the middle. And then I'm going to be illustrating with this piece of fabric right here. At this point, we're going to be adding a crinoline into the fabric. So I have my crinoline here and I'm just going to pass this inside the fabric until it comes out from the other end. Then I'll adjust it to set it in place properly. So this is it, and then I can go ahead to trim it off and then cut off the excess. So I have to repeat the same. I have to repeat the same thing for the other piece of fabric that I left. And then what I'm going to be doing next is that I'm going to fold in this edge. I'm going to fold in this edge and then sew it down. So I'll fold in this edge down this way, folding this part down. And then place it on my sewing machine and then stitch it through to secure it. The same thing applies to the other end. Right here, I have the first piece. The, this edge has already been sewn, sealed. And then I also have the second piece already sewn and sealed. So this is the fine side. And then this is the wrong side with the sewn part at the middle. I'm going to be folding it into to this way. It's the sewn part at the middle. This is the wrong side. Okay. And I'm going to also place it on my sewing machine to seal down this edge. So right here, I have the four pieces of fabric all sewn, all joined together, as you can see. And then I'm going to start stitching. So what I'll do is I'll illustrate to this first piece of fabric. And then whatever is done for this should be done for the others. So I'll place this one part at the middle of my fabric this way. And then I'm going to get my needle and thread. And I'm going to be making a running stitch across the middle of the fabric. So after making my running stitch, I'll go ahead to tie it down at the middle to help me hold it in place this way. Then I'll tack down, secure my thread, and cut off the excess thread. Then I'll go off, off camera to repeat the same thing for the others. And as soon as all that is done, I'll get back to tell us what to do next. And then right here, I have all four pieces already sewn down. And I have my bow design in place. So I'm going to be working with three pieces of fabric for now. Okay, I'll start with two. I'll get this to place one on each other this way. And then I'm going to tack it down together. Then I'll get the third piece of fabric. And then place on it again this way. And then tack all together. So that's what I'll be doing now.
so this is my work and i'm done tacking this together i'm going to set this aside until when i'm ready to be needed next thing we're going to be working on is our net design and to start with i'm going to get my hat wire which is this which i said is 40 inches for the length and we're going to be forming a ring or a circle so to do that i'm going to get both ends and place one end on each other so that they overlap and to close this up you can make use of your paper tape or your thread i'm going to be making use of my thread and i have my thread right here so i'm going to go ahead to tie this up using my thread so all i have to do is to just get my thread and then start wrapping my thread around the end of the wire and that is going to help me to secure one on each other now on getting to the end i'll just apply a little bit of gum and then wrap my thread around it then cut off the excess thread so this is it so at this point i've been able to form my round shape and then i'm going to be getting my nets i'm going to be placing my net on my working surface and the wrong side of the net should be facing me so this surface i have is the wrong side of my net facing me and i'm going to place my wire in it down this way and i'm going to clip it down to help me hold it in place So we are going to be gumming this down and stitching together. So this is the wrong side. Why this is going to be the fine side of the work. So I'm going to get my needle and thread for us to stitch this down together. So I have my needle and thread they are already doubled. And then as we stitch, we'll be pulling the edge of the fabric down so that, um, so that we can stitch down everything down properly. So this is it. I'll pull my fabric and I'm going to pass my needle and thread and secure it at that point. So this is it. And I'll start making my sewing stitch in a zigzag pattern round, round this wire and my fabric. So as I stitch round, I'll pull my fabric just make it tight So at this point, I'm done. I've secured my thread. I'm going to cut off the excess thread. As soon as, as soon as that is done, I'm going to get my gum, and I'm going to open up my fabric, and I'm going to apply gum round it at the edge. Okay, and then after applying gum, I'm going to glue it down, glue the fabric down on each other before I'll cut off the excess fabric that is at the edge. So I'm going to wait and allow this to get dry a bit before I'll get my scissors to trim off the excess fabric at the edge.
So as soon as all that has been done, this is the wrong side, you can see the edge, why this is the fine side. The next thing we have to do is we have to cover this edge up with a ribbon or bias tape. Or in place of that, you can as well make use of your trimming, whichever you have available, whichever one you prefer. So I have my ribbon here. All I have to do is to apply gum and then glue this down round my fabric. And in place of like, and I swear also decide to stitch this down using my sewing machine. So that is how to go about it. So this is my work and I made use of my sewing machine to add my ribbon to the edge of my design. And in place of your sewing machine, you can make use of your gum. So this is it. Now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be forming our design. And I'm going to fold this until I get an X shape this way. So it is open this way and I'll just fold it until I get this figure 8 this way. So this is it. So this is it and I have my needle and thread and I'm going to tag this down to help me hold it in place at this point. And so that is that. I've been able to complete this. I'm going to get my first bow design which I attached together this way. And I'm going to place this on it. And I'm going to tack it down this way. Then I'm going to get the first, then this other single bow design which is here. I'm going to place at the top this way. And I'm going to tack all together and get back. So this is it. I still have my needle and thread here. I'm done tacking this. So what I'm going to be doing next is that I'm going to be cutting out a different piece of fabric for the loop, which I'm going to be adding to this part here before we finally attach this down to our tuban cap. For my loop, I have my fabric cut out and sewn. The measurement for this fabric is 5 inches by 7 inches. 5 inches for the width and 7 inches for the length. So what I did was to fold it into two with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. And I placed on my sewing machine and I've sewn from one end to the other. So then I will go ahead to turn this fabric inside out and have the sewn part placed at the middle of the fabric. So I have the sewn part placed at the middle of the fabric this way. I'm going to get my design which I've been working on earlier and then I'm going to get this and I'll be wrapping this part up with it this way and I'm going to go over to my sewing machine now watch the way I position the fabric the way I position the fabric the sewn part is at the middle here so I'll take this all the way to the back and then go ahead to place this on my sewing machine ensure that both ends are lined and then I'm going to be stitching this part down as soon as I'm done stitching down I'll cut off the excess fabric and then turn the fabric to the other side and then I'm done sewing, so I'm going to trim this off and then turn this to the other side so that the sewn part can be hidden inside and I'll adjust my fabric in place properly. And, view. and then this is the back view and then I'm going to get my fabric flower, I'm going to apply gum and I'm going to glue this down at the middle this way so my design is ready now for your design it can be in two forms which is detachable or non-detachable form or in form of a fascinator and in form of a tuban cap now in form of a um, fascinator you just add your alice band flip it to the back tack down your alice band to it and you have it this way in form of a tuban cap you get your tuban cap and then you place it wherever you want to place it and then either glue it down or tack it down together with your tuban cap now if you want it to serve as both a fascinator and a tuban cap in form of a detachable design we'll have to attach this alice band to this you can try to wrap your alice band with a matching color of fabric so that it's not visible it's okay it's allowed and then we we'll place it on the tuban cap so for illustration sake i'm just going to pass this inside here this way and then get my dummy head i'll place my tuban cap on my dummy head and then place the design also on it said i have my tuban cap on my dummy head and as for my design 
remember we passed it to the alice band so i'm going to place it on it this way and then after doing it that way i have it this way so i have my design here this is this other side and as you can see my alice band on my two band cap if i had used a matching color or fabric to wrap the alice band it would not have been so obvious so that is it you decide whichever one you want to make use of either your alice band you tack it down or then tack it down to your two band cap so that is it for this tutorial now in addition to all that i have said earlier we can also decide to change the shape of this annette design so you can try to make it have to make it in form of a heart shape this way all you just have to do is bend because the wire is flexible okay just make it take the shape that you want so this is it as you can see the shape here and the shape here has changed and then you can decide to make it go down this way and then go down this way so that is it and then that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching do well to like share and leave a comment in the comment section kindly follow us on our various social media platforms we are on facebook and on instagram as jenny concept thank you so much for watching see you in our next tutorial